Hi, this is Yoshi. This is a, a huge haul. Uh, we ordered uh, Hoyas from Ahoya. Uh, I believe it's from Thailand. And uh, our uh, friend organized a group order. And uh, here's uh, what we got. And uh, I wanted to share how it came. Right, so first of all, this one is uh, Onikoides. Um, we wanted this, but we weren't sure if uh, it's gonna grow indoor. Uh, and we, we kind of figured out that it would, so we ordered it. This is a large order. Um, some stem is kind of right here bent so I'm thinking I'm gonna just make a cutting out of it hopefully it's got some uh, leaf which it does this is probably the yeah this is probably the, the piece here going like this oh, there's another leaf here and then oh no this I'm confused this is a huge piece so this one is connected to, yeah, see here's the bent. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna make a cutting out of it and save it. And this is a uh, Hoya Rotten Deflora. Um, this looks very nice. Uh, nothing is uh, bent, so I think I'm gonna put them up right away. There's some yellow leaf, but I'm not too worried about a few. Besides, it's got the... It snapped right here, that's probably why. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, here's a lobii. Oh man, the lighting. Um, here's the tab. Um, this looks a little sad, um, but I think I'm gonna put this in a put it up and then I uh, put it in a, a little tent and keep it uh, good moisture I mean humidity um, here's a cina cinnamomifolia cinnamomifolia um, looks good leaves looking good so I think this would be also a good, uh, it'll probably get a good <coughs> adoption, I'm thinking. Um, and this is Divasifolia, uh, yellow variation apparently. Uh, this one has a little bit of a yellowing, um, I don't know where it's from, but I think this will also come back. I'll just. Uh, put it up in and also put it in the hum high humid spot all right so I am starting with uh, ornicoides which is this one it looks like it's in a it was in a bark and it looks like it was kept very moist because it's still wet I don't know if, uh... by the way, I want to say thank you to Rachel Wombalt. Is that his, her last name? Uh, organized the huge Hoya orders from Ahoya. Um, anyways, uh, so let me take a look at this. Looks like this is the tip. Okay. And here's the snapped point. Oh, it's weird. It went down and then rooted right here.
and huh. It's twined here. And here's the snap, so I don't know how I'm going to save this. Oh, it's got a sap here. I don't know what happened. Anyways. And then here, it's kind of hard to see. Here's another snap here, but here is... Here's where all the new leaves are. I mean, it's not new, but... And here's... Here is where it splits. So this is another growth this way. And uh, this goes here and... And then it went all the way down here and it's rooted here so okay what should I do so for this side where it snapped I'm gonna make a cutting simply right here and uh, water root this This side, I think I'm gonna just leave it as it is since the, the root is going down here. And looks like this is bent, bent and grow just like that. So this is not snap. So I think I'm gonna keep it as it is. Whereas as this one is snap. So I am going to cut it here. and see if anything would come out from here okay now this is a huge one so i'm this is a six inch pot and i'm putting a trellis like this i got orchid bark and uh lots of orchid bark maybe half and half and uh um regular soil mix it's uh the drainage is really well so i think this is a good size pot I was surprised the roots looks pretty shallow for this much of a big hoya I was expecting the root system to be really huge but it's not just like so I think that's good this is very top heavy. I think this will do. Hmm. That doesn't work. probably have to make a okay so here is the final product so on this one um, stronger I have to but give it a try a couple um, times how to 
make it stable, but I think it looks good. Okay. I made the tab. So just like that, it's kind of a little bit not really in the shape. But okay, I'm here is the make one more Hoya Rotten Flora. So um, it's cr crossing. So I it's a little bit more sturdy. I think it's good. I just don't stable. know how many plants are in there. Let's see. Okay, Three, so four. those two stems that I uh, this is rot cut and um, put it in this with the tag and see what happens. Five, this is just a stem, so I don't know how five or six. I can save it. But. Uh, root system is okay, I think. A mess. Bless you, Violet. Bless you again. This is one plant, I see. Pretty good size. Oh my goodness, what got into you? Again? I had this uh, Rotundifola, Rotundiflora, long time ago or a while ago. So I'm, I think I'm gonna put put this up together.
Let go. I think this looks good. Alright, so that's that. Uh, now, the other cuttings are small. Alright, so I am gonna put it in the smaller yeah, pots. I just got yelled at from Let's my wife for using one. this. I just had the uh, Rotundi Flora, the but it's a one in here, so it's gonna be okay. I don't blame her. Okay, just like that. Uh, Divorce Flora. So this is Divorce Diversi Floria. What is it? Okay, here Diversi is my Floria. Lobby Looks like it was some sort of a plug. I don't know what this is. It's got little roots going, so I think like that would be fine. This is also kind of top heavy. Okay, so my wife is gonna shoot me for this, but this is a straw from Starbucks. It's I'm pretty sturdy to, uh, straw. So I'm gonna use this. Try not to destroy the root. Okay, so I think I got it done. Okay, so here's a lobby eye. I don't know what I'm gonna see. It looks like a plug. And it's some sort of a cocoa husks, I guess. Looks okay. Guess that's how they root. I'm thinking it should do just fine. I'm going to make a trellis here and just uh, like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually, yeah. It's almost like I'm talking to myself. I think I'm going to keep it like that and then put it in a humid place, my grow box or maybe something like that. So here's a lobby eye. And finally, cinnamon, cinnamon floor.